Hey, Risky Pants is on Chris. And I'm Kara. Kara, what do we have today? Today we have something from Lux Row. A purdy bottle. It is quite beautiful, and I honestly, that's one of my uh, the things that intrigued me about this whiskey. Oh, yeah. Because I really didn't know anything about it. Yeah. So can you yeah. give us the lowdown? Well, you, you originally thought it was the 12-year one that we had tried that was a distiller release only. That I, may, I may have. We thought was phenomenal. Almost. And I was like, no. Oh, so I was excited. Thinking? I was yeah. so excited. Yeah. 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 But. So this is a four grain. Okay. So what they did, they put right here the two different barrels. Ooh. So they used a weeded and a rye mash. And these are Heaven Hill barrel number sequences. So I'm assuming since it's Lux Row. You're surmising. Yeah. That word. Yep. Okay. So assuming it's not that big enough. Works. It's not nerdy for you. I'm, I'm plain folk talk. Okay, go ahead. We have plain folks. You're guessing? We have plain folks. Yes, I'm guessing that this is probably a mixture of leftover stock of the Rebel Ooh. and Ezra. Oh, right? Oh, yeah. We did mash? No, we did rye. rye. Mash. So, and it gives you the dates that Is it a rye bourbon or a rye rye? It's a rye bourbon. Rye bourbon. Rye bourbon. So, it gives you the dates that these were filled, not when they were emptied. But what I could find on their website where it does list it as a four-year bourbon. So I'm not sure when they bottle them or whatever, but it's minimum four. But with the ages, it might be closer to five. But I can't guess that. Who's to say? We don't know. This this little bad boy could have been sitting in a tote, a bottle. We don't know for so long. So I'm kind of curious because did they match the two perfectly that would suit each other? Or can I just take a Rebel and an Ezra and just and make my create own? this? Yeah. Maybe we should do that later. That would be fun. Yeah. 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 I, I just wanted to take a moment to yep. shout out a very special friend. Thank you to Jake. He ooh, ooh. saw it in his local area, gave mm-hmm. us a quick little text message, and picked this up for us. So yeah. thank you so much, Jake, because we would not have had the opportunity to try no. it otherwise. Let's get into it. Oh, what's the proof on this? I don't know. It's on 57.5. Okay. Okay. Okay, It has a very dark, like, char smell to it. I think mm, this is very dark and brooding, but with, like, ethanol edges to it. Um, it reminds me of the fall. The fall. Not not when someone goes, oh, this is a fall whiskey because it's cinnamon spices and it's um, like a pumpkin cheesecake thingy. No, mm-hmm. not like that. This reminds me of outdoors where it's slightly cool and crisp in the air. Oh. But you get that um, the foliage aging and breaking down. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting this like decay. Decay is not probably the best word for it. Mm-hmm. But so when. Okay. And dusty peanuts. Okay, so I don't know what this whole, like, decaying nope, leaf don't. is because there's, like, maybe one tree I've seen in L.A. that, that loses changes leaves. colors and then loses leaves. Palm trees don't do that. They don't. So If a palm tree is losing their leaves, you can get hurt really problem. bad. But I kind of might understand that. Chopped wood. Yeah. My grandfather was a, a carpenter, so he would always hmm. have big wood piles outside uh, aging. That's what it reminds me of. It reminds me of the big oak trees in, in the yard in my grandpa's okay. house with the lumber stacked in the corner. A little bit of sawdust by the tools. That sounds cute and homey. I know. Hmm. Hmm. Nostalgia. Okay, can I, can I get into this? Because we're just rambling. She would like to ramble. Okay. I don't think this was just like two barrels like, bloop, there you go. Unless that was a lucky guess. Can, can I say something? You can say whatever you want. I like this, actually. There's something on the back of this, and I think it's the dusty peanut. It tastes a little older than... This isn't, it this doesn't does. taste four years old, does it? Okay, no, it doesn't. But it doesn't smell it either. It has a dark, brooding, like, char on the nose. So, if you like the Rebels, and you like the Ezra's, it's a good collaboration. However, sometimes... Okay, I really do love the Ezra 7. Not the distillery series, but, like, the Ezra 7 itself. Mm, mm. But that does get a little spiky. Ethanol. So yeah, it has it's a little little spiky. It's but young. It's young. I actually do think those Rebel and Ezra Distiller the cut distiller series cuts. I think are, are where little, it's at. I think they're a little bit better quality. I I do too. Um, or at least the ones that we've got. Yeah, and I obviously this is what that has to come from because you're getting. A, I'm getting a little bit. We have a Rebel pick that's got a cherry note in it, and I'm mm-hmm. getting that on here. Mm-hmm. 
it's like a dark cherry note to it and that's where the fruit goes mm -hmm. and then a little bit of the ezra where it's almost not it's not a peanut buttery but you get that heaven hill nuttiness dusty shell yes and it's got a slight char to it yeah everything in spades it's good that dark cherry yeah is the dark cherry fruit mm -hmm. not candy cherry mm -hmm. not dry it's mm -hmm. the it's the fruit but all throughout you get almost like a char if you're a heaven a hill fan I would say this is amazing, yeah. and, and it's a pickup. There's, it's a, I like the balance, but because it's a four grain, it's a yeah. sweet enough, but it's not super bourbony no. sweet. You know, sometimes, no. sometimes bourbon, just depending on the mash bill or whatever, gets a little too sweet for me. This just it has a beautiful rise. This balance it has, it has a nice spice to it. It's got the sweetness of it. It's got that woody it's texture. Got a nice char. It's like a, it's got fruity. that that woodiness that yeah. I love. Now, because it's like two different single barrels put together yeah are they all going to be very widely I different no see idea. that's the thing like i don't know do they just pick and choose yep put those together put those together or do they like <sighs> think taste about it. them and yeah. think about it like oh that'll offset it i don't know yeah i wish staring at this bottle would give me some answers it might you know like yeah. telepathically i do think this is different There's you, a really you just big put your fingers up the bottle's butt it's a really big grip. That's an invasion of privacy. It might be, yeah. I probably should have asked. Sorry. Too fast. I think it's fascinating. Yeah. And this is, we the first time we had um, poured it, I was, didn't know what to expect. And I was kind of like, eh, on it. Yeah. But we, clearly this we didn't have, we only had the one pour and then now here. So it, it opened up just a little bit and I like it. I enjoy it. Now, is it worth the cost? I don't know because... The Rebels and the Ezra's, they're, they're stupid cheap sometimes They're stupid here. cheap. If you can still find the Heaven Hill single barrels, which you still can. They're less than $50. Yes. But it's How, just what... What's can, the price the, point of this? Is it, is, is it going to make me... 80, it's gonna 90, make me, oh, something okay. like that? I, can't, I honestly can't remember. I thought she was going to say 120 because I would have fallen no, off no, no, my no, no, bench. No, 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 okay. I think I think after like taxes, it was like maybe 100 if maybe a little over. I honestly can't remember. I think it was like 90-ish or something. Okay. The fact that this is under $100 um, makes me happy. And it's 150 115 proof. That's mm -hmm. decent. That mm -hmm. is a decent proof point. And yeah. for for less than 100 bucks, and it's something unique and, and slightly different because it's a four grain that they blended two barrels together, I think this is for those he Heaven Hill curious people. I think that's a pickup. I like it. I'm not disappointed mm -hmm. in this purchase. I think it's really good. And, and if you can't find it, if you have a Rebel, yeah, and fine. if you have, have an Ezra, just play around with it. And if you like it, put them together. Let me there know you how go. that is. You just don't have a, a fancy bottle. That's, that's, there you go. I mean. I, I enjoy it. I think there might be some other people that might not enjoy it. Crazy people. I didn't want to call them crazy. Well, I did. I don't want to hurt your feelings. Well, I really like it. Okay. So, have you guys had a chance to try this Lux Row Distillers Four Grain Mash Bill? It's a mm -hmm. double single barrel. If you had this, give us a comment below and let us know what you think. Mm -hmm. And while you're down there, just hit that thumbs up. It really helps the channel. If you like what we're doing here on Whiskey Fancies, subscribe. Turn on those notifications and you'll be notified when another video is available. I mean, don't you want to hear more rambling? I mean, I do. Well, yeah. I don't know about you. I fancy this whiskey. I fancy this whiskey. Thank you, Jacob. Cheers.